podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Now, nah, nah, you know, they are all gone. <laughs> I want y'all to like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. I mean, everything you can think of. Go check out our Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. You know, we streaming on every platform you can name. So if you don't, if you're not on top of it, you need to get on top of it. So you know, we oh, helping man. you out. So come on. It is what it is. She Great said. Content. She said what she said. Every day. You know what I'm saying? Every day we trying to do every something day. to change uh, your day trying to make sure we implement something that can give you guys uh, a strength and encouragement to make it through and see a brighter day, mm -hmm. to be a better individual for this world. Man, check it, man. Boss Talk 101 is once again in the building. I appreciate everybody for tuning in, tapping in. You know we've been premiering every day, every, day. every morning, 9, 10 o'clock. You can catch a yep. premiere. Something's dropping. Four episodes, man. We've been giving it to you the way it's supposed to be we'll given. We'll be on there chopping it up with y'all. So if y'all want to talk with us, just head on over to our premiere on yeah. YouTube. And y'all can chop it up with us live and in person. And also donations, donations. Of course, that's important. I never get them, though. You, the only time you get them is on your birthday. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, we got a very special guest today here, y'all, man. He don't need no introduction, man. This guy right here, man, whips and go through the internet like it ain't no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, he's, he understands the algorithm. He understands the process. Yeah. A lot of times I feel like people feel like they can, you know, uh, uh, figure it out but I just don't think you figure it out we couldn't figure it out with th without this guy man this guy showed us some things we showed him some things mm -hmm. and that's what it's all about Facts. big love man oh big boy love. Prince is in Ooh, the building what's popping oh boy we back Man, hey, he got a click full of stars over there if y'all ain't yeah. following him yet yeah, go tripping. check it out y'all tripping Wow. It's home right here. Mm -hmm. Man, man, I just say, man, you know, it's good to have you back on the show. For sure. Um, I sit back and I just think about, you know, how far you've grown, grown just over the last few years of what I've been seeing with your brand. Yeah. I think it's live. I think it's all the way live. I you know what that. I'm saying? I appreciate that. I think you, you know, you 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 made people step it up. Yeah. Uh, you, too. you you help people that had <laughs> labels that 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 and and to show them, uh, hey man. I can do this, man. I can make it look like I'm on a label without a label. Yeah. That's big. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Facts. Check it, man. Hey, man. So, oh, boy, Prince, gets, you know, one thing I can say about you, man, like I said, you're a trendsetter, man. Yeah. You know, people, uh, I've seen a lot of guys, you know, um, pretty much springboard off your platform and, and try to figure it out yeah. out here. And that, that says something, man. You you basically are a visionary. So mm -hmm. thank you for figuring it out for us all. Appreciate you know, I, I mean, you know, I want to do a TikTok dance, me and my wife, hmm. you know, boop, 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 you know, I, what do I do to get up in there? You know, I, I got 23,000 subscribers. You got to post. Be consistent. Post. I can't just do one, huh? That's not. Nah. That's Think probably about my it. biggest you problem. You, right. can't, you can't do one boss talk one on one. Nah, you? nah, that's nah, what I'm saying. He talking about his TikTok page. I post every day on my TikTok page. I don't post. So I, don't have you caught start. me? I probably have. No, nah, let's check it, bro. Right oh. now, I probably have. You ain't oh. calling me. It's two boss talkers. Yeah, yeah. They probably about three or four. Yeah, <laughs> let me see. Let me see, cause I got twenty three thousand. What you got? No, I ain't got twenty three thousand. That's what know. I thought. You on your way though? I'm and I don't way. even post. Thank I don't you. even post. They he love been me. having them twenty three thousand that's sitting down there. Twenty three thousand ain't grown. Ain't even <laughs> it moved was up by one. Twenty four thousand. It went down to twenty three because I don't oh, ever post. to get back posting. I think I want to get on it, man. Like I said, I, my face. Even if you post your interviews, I post. do. That's what I post now. Bro. He don't even post that much on his Instagram. Not all the time. You I need still to be posting on both. Yeah, yeah, Come you on now. He too busy with YouTube. Come on now. You you giving you giving away the gas, man. Like it ain't <laughs> just YouTube either. There's a lot more going on than what just just YouTube. I know. There's a lot. Hold on. But at the end of the day, man, um, enough about me. Let's talk about you. Let's get into uh, it, man. You like I said, and, and this is something that uh, I we waited to talk about. You know, mm -hmm. you had an accident. <clears throat> Um, me and my wife, we prayed for you, man. Yeah, I was calling we called a lot. I talked to sure. your mother, man. Yeah. Talk to you, Nick. I was so confused, man. Me too. I just didn't understand what happened because I was like, of course, she sent me the pictures and all that in the end, but when that it first he happened, look at. Yeah. I couldn't look he couldn't at look it. Look at I it. couldn't. I, I just, I, man, I care too much about you, so I'm for like, sure. man, I can't do this, bro. Let's t let's get to it. So okay. Um, 
tell us what happened because we're talking and he's talking and a lot of people might not know what happened. Right. So from your recollection, tell us exactly what happened. Man, um, And what day was it? It was January 6th. Mm -hmm. I want to say, I think it was a Friday on the way to go do an interview with the whole clique full of stars. We was on the way out. Last minute, need a babysitter. Hit my mom's. She grabbed my son. We on I-30, going westbound, on by Beltline. And um, just driving and, you know, something just came through the windshield. We didn't even know wow. it was something came through the windshield. Just you just, and Unique was in the car. Yeah, just me and Unique in the car. I'm driving. Not even expecting it. Just a regular day driving. On the, uh, My bodyguard was on the Bluetooth talking to us, just hyping me up. Like, damn, y'all on the way to do an interview. Y'all doing y'all thing. By the way, Big Dre want to come see y'all. He said, matter of fact, he's going to be mad. Who Big he Dre said, is. Who is that? He is our bodyguard. Okay. He comes from San Antonio, go everywhere we go. Okay, he's going to be mad I'm on here without yeah. him because he said, next time you go to Baltimore. Look, next time we come up here with the game, Big Dre, you could come for shit show. I, my bad. But look, sure. he was on the phone hyping me up, and I'm just driving. And then that's it. Some came through the windshield, didn't know what it was. I passed out. I don't know for how long, you maybe don't a couple seconds. Nothing else. Unique over. jumped over in the driver's seat while I was already passed out. So you, she said your foot automatically hit the gas. Yeah, I took off. I took off. So she just grabbed, She from what she said, she said she grabbed the steering wheel. Yeah. Because you took off, was going so fast. Because the first thing I asked is like, did nobody see what happened? Nobody around no. stopped, whatever. But she said no, it because. so quick. Because the fact that you stepped on your, your gas. Yeah. Everybody think that you're just trying to overtake the vehicle right. or you know anything like right. that, and I I applauded her that day when I was talking to her, and I had to I have to applaud her right here right now because not many females would react the way in which that do. she had done and just quick like that. You know what I mean? Instinct. You got you got yourself a hell of a woman. A super woman. I do. Um, let me tell a you super that. Super woman. Because she grabbed them steering, that steering wheel and she was trying to wake you up at the same time telling you, pull over, you yeah. know, take your foot off the gas, yeah. slow hit down, the yeah, hit the brake, all, the all of that. She didn't know what to do. She was just screaming like crazy. So and blood gashing everywhere at that time. At that time, could uh, you I was hear gone it? for maybe, I don't know how long, probably be 10, 15 seconds. And when it happened, I knew I was gone and probably just hit the In gas. In shock. You know what I'm saying? And I was gone. So in the mix of that, I just remember hearing her yelling, top of her lungs, hit the hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes, baby, you gotta hit the brakes. And I just hit it. And slowly I'm trying to see what the hell's going on, opening my eyes slowly. And she just screaming, I'm trying to look at the visor. She knocked the visor up, you don't need to look, baby, it's gonna be okay. She just panicking, I'm just like, it's gonna be all right. Just chill. Because she was panicking so much, I'm thinking I'm about to die any second, the way yeah. she just screaming. Because at that time, she wasn't, if she's holding on to the steering wheel, right. she's not able at that time to put yeah. any pressure on your wound yeah. or anything. So yeah. blood probably everywhere. Yeah, she didn't even know where it was coming from because she said just blood was just everywhere. Out. Where, where did it exactly out? hit you at? So it hit me right here in this area. Right in that right area. Right here. So all this was split. Split wide But when it happened, it was just blood. blood everywhere. So, so she didn't know where see. it was coming from. She thought I got shot or something. Yeah. That's what it, what it sounded like through the windshield, what she was trying to tell me. Mm. So in the mix of that, we just, you know, on the side of the highway, I remember um, just hearing the ambulance and police coming and looking they forward. They came pretty quick? Yeah, they did come quick. And I remember seeing the 18 wheeler with the hazards on, probably like a half an exit up in the distance. So it did stop? Yeah. But when the cops in the ambulance finally arrived, I'm watching the 18 wheeler take off. So you seen it? Yeah, I did. But see he it. probably didn't know if something came off of his truck. Right. He, he just knew know. that something was wrong with y'all. Possibly. Maybe. And possibly. He, possibly. Did he even? He, Nobody. Did, no. Nothing. nothing. To this day, nothing. No cameras wow. on that side of the highway. And then find and that's out. Odd. Yeah, for sure. And and what's crazy is, I took a trip back down that highway, when I was comfortable enough to drive again just to go see because I'm just like damn these lawyers saying there ain't no cameras over here and I pulled up like about four or five poles look. and I found cameras but they said those cameras is just for like a couple minutes they ain't even for long like they don't keep the recordings for long periods of time wow. and that shit just blew my mind like I was like that's crazy like how all this other shit you see happen on the highway nobody gets it but the mm. shit that happened to me yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah, like it, it, it just threw me off I I, I I really, really, and truly, that day, when she sent me, when she tell us this story, she tell us a, it's a it's an iron metal bar. It's, it's, I got the picture of it. Yeah. And it's a bar, but this bar is like that big. It's, it's, 
About this yeah. big, like in a round Like a shape. break. Mm -hmm. like, it comes it's like a, a horseshoe, but a horseshoe. big ass horseshoe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it could have been worse. Right. Because it could have hit you here. Yeah, it could have hit me. It, it broke said, all of this. Anyway, any, anywhere lower or higher could have killed me. Correct, because here's your throat. Right. There was and, an angel and, in that and, car. Yeah, and, here, and, and here's your here's your head. Any right. of this, it could have brain damage right. and everything. So it was a brake pad off the um 18 wheeler. They found it in my son's car seat. That's the part. That's the part that threw me off. I'm like, man, you just had dropped your son off. Right, just dropped him off. When she sent me the picture, it's sitting in the seat. In the car seat. In the car seat. Mm -hmm. And the crazy part is, I'm like, man, it got to be. I'm like you. It got to be somebody that's seen this truck. Yeah, nobody's seen it. And, and, and what's crazy is when we look back at the pictures and try to figure out everything, the brake pad hit the dashboard. I mean, hit the um, hood of the, the car, scratched that up. Came through the windshield, hit the top of the dashboard, messed up the whole dashboard, then it hit, hit my you, face. So that slowed it down. Correct. And then went in the car seat. And then went in the car seat. Correct. And y'all, how long had it been since y'all dropped the baby off? Like, man, maybe like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, right before. And did he you was break, rushing. Did rushing. you break down and started crying even more when you saw that? To this day, I haven't. To this day, I haven't. Lived you haven't? In, nah, nothing. Nothing. I You're just got right back to work. Because you know what you got to do. I have to. I don't want to think about it really. Like we could talk about it now, but it's like it hasn't affected me really yet. Like I haven't settled in. It's like no, you, you really you went through an accident. Out. Like your face, you went your whole, you got yeah, metal because You plates. never used to have beard or nah. nothing like that mm -mm. before that. But because of that, that's when you started growing it out. Yeah, the I beard cut my mom and my sister and my cousin Jamal, man. It was like, I like the beard on you because mm -hmm. I couldn't cut. Yeah, so I'm yeah. in the crib after the accident and everything, recovering and just my whole face just growing. Oh, and I just yeah. wanted to get a cut bad. I'm like, I need a cut. It's like, ah, oh, you just <laughs> need to edge it up. I like it on you. And you See? niggas like, you look that's different how, like a new boyfriend I said what I, I thought it. that it was because of the scar you were mm -mm. trying to hide the no, scar while no. you did that I didn't think so. that's I, what I thought I didn't yeah. know I just kept it because because it hit it really well when right. you kept it all like that like right. nobody could see that oh you had a scar right so. yeah it, it's um if it's literally all this area. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Can and then see it's now. the scratch here. Like I put, my mom had you me on the cocoa really, butter real really, good. Yeah, you Let's talk really about well. how many surgeries you went through because they told me it was multiple surgeries. So I went through one long ass one. I think it was supposed to be four hours, but it turned into like eight hours. So my my mom and them was telling me that was panicking when the fourth hour hit going in four four and a half hours. They started panicking because. They said that they seen more damage than what they was expected. Mm. So I had plates from right here. All the way up, so I Does have it screws. You? So like I can't go all the way in with the top of my mouth. Like the bottom can go all the way in, but the top is really like stiff. That's it. That's it. So I got plates all the way down into this area, and it's permanent. It's for the rest of my life. Wow, man! And 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 the, the cold part about it is how you resilient, how you bounce back, how you came over here. Me and you talked briefly, but I told you right. Like whenever we're ready, we'll talk about it. For you sure. know what I'm saying? But right now, I just love the vibe of how you just jumping back into thing. And it was like, wow, man! Like you're a strong individual, man. And 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 the one thing about it, the bright side of it is that the baby wasn't in the car. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's the part you look back and say, that's the bright side. God's showing me it could have been the baby. It could have. But God, God said, you know what? Uh, it could have been a baby, but you know this happened. I don't know what he was trying to get out of it. But at the end of the day, whatever it is, I think there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I seen you uh, after that bounce when she walked, went crazy. Yeah. That was while you were in the hospital. Yeah, while I was in the hospital, it took off. Because that's the song that you did before this accident happened. I was, so we was already working the song, but it took off during mm -hmm. the accident. And that's because recovering. of all the support that your fans nah, gave I, you? I'm, it's just, I ain't gonna lie, I just, I wouldn't even say it's that because on they didn't TikTok know. it just ran the songs. No, they posted, Unique posted on Facebook mm -hmm. like his progress on everything. Mm -hmm. You could go with her journey of what he what was, was going, going through, through on Facebook. On Facebook daily. So but a TikTok, lot of fans knew. But it took it took off on TikTok though. I, I think, yeah, it took off on for sure it took off on TikTok. The okay. dance and everything took off on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And shit. I knew that during that time it was two things. It was like you get up and get the work or you gonna sit here and deal and go through the emotions and I was yeah. like let me get the work so I had to get up and get straight to work start hitting the road doing shows interviews video shoots everything was that during the time when you was having to go back and forth to the hospital 
Uh, nah, I had to wait because the doctor didn't want me outside anything. I had wires all at the top. So you stayed bottom, in. How long did screws, you stay in? Uh, about two months. Two months. How was that? How hard was that? Off February. You, knowing that knowing that all this stuff was going on and you couldn't do anything, mm -hmm. I just wanted to get back to the team. Yeah, I just wanted to get back to the girls, get back to working. You know what I'm saying? My son, he he didn't even recognize me. It was hard to even hold him or ask him come to me or anything. Even wow. my niece, because they didn't know what the hell was going on. Uncle had. Daddy had patches and tissue and different shit all over his face and yeah. popping medicine and always in the room. Can't really come out and vibe with everybody. I was isolated for a little bit. Wow. But man. you came out pretty quick, though. It felt like, because I remember the first time when I saw you um, on Facebook again. Um, she told me. I had me. a shoot. And I'm like, hold up. Why he out? What the world? Yeah. I had a I'm mask like, on. I had to get I back to it. I kept looking. I'm like, is he okay? Why is he out? He needs to go back in and get some rest. I'm yeah. like, I was shocked. I didn't know what was going on. Right. Um, if you were okay to be out or you just right. got up and just like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to go right. do me. No, nah, I was waiting. My mom my mom heavy on, on, on listening to what the doctors were right. saying. So I waited and as soon as he gave me the green light, I was through that door. <laughs> Did, when the girls, they, 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 they was all collectively, you know, supportive of what, mm -hmm. you, what you was going through. Um, when they first came to see you, how, how emotional was things? None of them cried, but they for sure told me that they was going crazy when I when they came to the hospital and I was in there today, the it, it did happen. Like I said, we had an interview, so in the mix of everybody going, they had to reroute and go to Methodist Hospital. Shout out to Methodist, Methodist Hospital for taking care of me and everything y'all did for me up there and my family. But, um, when they finally pulled up on me, I think um, it was just, you know, love, just straight love. They was excited I was still here and it was ready to just for us to get back to work, mm -hmm. but they was happy I was all right. Cause yeah. you know, we all love each other. It's, real, it's a real family vibe behind everything we do. I love the way how they were handling it all without you because a lot of times whenever people used to see all y'all together they saw you as the head, saw right. you as the person who was a driving force behind right. everybody. But for the fact that you were down and you couldn't give that type of force, mm -hmm. but they were still going. You still see them on TikTok posting and with a smile on their face. And I yeah. know that inside it, it's still hurting, especially unique that right. has that bond with you. Right. You know, have you ever sat down with her even after the whole situation and said, how has this affected you? Like really try to talk because she experienced seeing you the way how she saw you there. Then you going into the hospital, going into surgery, she being out outside where, yes, she has to be strong when she come in front of you. But I right. know she probably was breaking down, crying. Right. Or she didn't, she didn't want to leave at times. Like right. for sure Like man You just came out the hospital You telling me Go do content I'd rather be here With you type exactly. of girl I'm like listen baby The only way We gonna keep this shit shaking Is y'all get to keep working So when I'm Back moving I'm moving with What the hell's going on Versus having to start With nothing Y'all go get content Y'all keep pushing Bounce when she walking All the other records They knocked out Video shoots When I was gone They knocked out Kept pushing Bounce when she walked When I was down They was doing a lot of shit And, and I was, salute them They let me know that Everything I was building them up for They was ready They was mm. for sure ready Wow So with this Next question I've been dying to ask you uh, About this What's up Because she's been by your side This yeah. whole time yeah. And Went through this with you Yeah when is the ring coming? It's you know, everybody come, be asking this. It's going to come this. soon. She I can, asked, I can cut this asked, part. I can cut yeah, this part and put sure. it out. Nah, for Whenever sure. You, you can put it out. It's going to come soon. Sooner than a lot of people think. I ain't going to lie can, to you. You can't you can just break it here and tell me when. And I won't, I won't put it out. Y'all just got to wait on it, it man. Y'all got to wait on it. We talked about it the other night. This year? Huh? This year? I don't know. Y'all got to wait. You know. Y'all just got to wait. It got to be a special moment. The moment that I want to create. And they could just be like, I can't believe you. And I'm like, yeah. So it's the. It's going to be a surprise to her. Oh, it's everybody. To everybody. Everybody. It got to be that way. And it's going to be a unique way. It got to be. It got to be. Okay. Got to be special and everything, you know? So how do you feel about her now after this happened compared to how you felt about her before? She's ready. When I first met Unique, this is before I picked up a camera and wanted to try shooting videos. Before I sat here and was like, let me... I was already like trying out having artists, but like really have an artist that I'm investing and working in. So I seen her come from zero followers to a million followers. I seen her go from no music videos out to videos out with almost a million views on it. And 
to the point that we did Lincoln High School today, and fans is going crazy when they see her and the girls. So she's a star. She's ready. I built her up for it, and she's ready to perform now. Sure. I didn't talk about. I'm talking about. I, I you. knew you wasn't talking about. I ain't that. talking about that. Talking I'm about, talking oh, about. She was talking about how do she since the accident. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about you know her as far as the union and the, and, and and the closeness after going through something so okay. traumatic? So yes. So going through that is like because before, how did you think about her before? Compared to, you know, sometimes men, they put us through things to test us, to see. The love. Right. The love. But is, after the that. Love, the love. I know the, the love, love has to be even love, much more. The love expanded. Like, if the cup wasn't full, it's, it's still overflowing right now. It's just overflowing around the clock. To the point that even when the BET Awards happen, and I'm looking at the video, not expecting that my girl's looking at the screen. Man. Screaming at the man. top of her lungs. Mm -hmm. I got jealous as hell. I'm like, I wish Mr. Make a holler like that. For I, me, he showed me what the hell's going on. And I got home, I held, and I was like, whispered in her ear on some like, baby, you know how many men probably looked at that video and was like, the they hell? wish they women to do but, something but like that. I, I can't lie, my wife cook for me every day. It's God, a whole love. other it's she a, heard, the way she, she work, do me. She working with you? Yeah, she with me every day, so I ain't tripping on but that. But show. I definitely when nah, I you seen felt that, it. I said you that's hard, that, bro. That video. I felt it like man, for her to go hard for him like that, man. You know, I wasn't planned nothing. No. Nothing. And not I wasn't expecting it, it. Nothing. It was real. That's the hardest thing. So let's talk about the BET Awards uh, that you wouldn't tell us about when you was on here last time. Man, I didn't <laughs> know, know what was going to happen. A really? lot of people that time up, when I interviewed listen, you? That they hit me Wednesday and said, be here Thursday, the next no. day. No. I swear. That's how it happened. You had to Phone get call. them together and everybody together. They was already just quick group chat. BET Awards Friday. Could y'all make it here Thursday? Today's Wednesday. And 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 you get there, and and and, and I, I hate to put you on the spot, but What's I up? have to put you on the spot because that's what I do. I'm Let's boss do talk. This guy that came over here years ago, D, what's his name? DK. D, DK. Yeah. He wasn't with y'all. Mm -hmm. I look back at the first BET Awards, mm -hmm. he was with y'all. Yeah. So I missed that part. Like I'm like, why DK didn't get to come to So I'm not going to lie. The, 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 the dude that was over it, he sent the group chat to whoever was in the group chat. I'm so not, DK wasn't in the group chat. He wasn't in the group chat. Wow. And I just needed my itinerary, my my information. I need to make sure I was taken care of and I was there. My job ain't to, you know. Ask questions. Yeah. So you didn't ask nobody. I nobody didn't. brought his name up nobody, or nothing? Nobody brought his name up. Nobody said anything. I don't know what was the whole background and logistics behind it, but, you know. But he was a member, and he was one with y'all. Yeah, because out. he posted a picture. You posted a picture of BT back in the day. Mm -hmm. and it was did? all Yeah, you did. He did? Oh, I you did. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all of you were on that picture. For sure. And then the new one where one was missing. Yeah. Right, right. I hate, I, I hate it because he seemed to be going through so much. You know what I mean? That might would have helped him, you know. But I get it. Business is business, and you got to go with the floor. Because, you know, you in Texas, and you know you Texas dudes that live down here known for going to the Grammys and BET Awards and leaving somebody. Oh, you That's what happened with Scarface <laughs> yeah. and Willie D. Hey. And, and, and yeah, here we go again. Uh, if, the if, GS boys if I left had, DK. If I had a say-so, our dances would have been... I was like, they not even dances, but C4S is going to be here behind me on stage and let's use them. Yeah, Instead of, we would have had a whole nother playground going on out there, but it didn't happen that way. So, you know, I couldn't push my muscle how I do on, on my side of the business. I just had to flow what they what had they going had on going. and I, I showed the fuck out. Let's talk about it. Like you, when you first get there, you know, shout out to Rainwater. Rainwater said he's seen y'all, you yeah. know. And he say when he seen y'all, you know, because he was trying to get in. I don't know how true it is. Yeah, he, he but was. But he said he was trying to get in. A lot in. of people was trying to he get in. He didn't know how he was going to get in that thing. I'm about to break in here, break in there. He ends up going through the back, according to him. Mm -hmm. And he, he did send me pictures. So I know he ain't lying about this. Mm -hmm. he, he said went, it was easy to get in through the back. He went through the back. He said mm -hmm. they thought he was going to come out and perform. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> so, I had tickets, and we all had tickets, yeah. and we had passes. And them niggas oh, y'all was to, really in there? Them niggas, them niggas wanted to make sure you had tickets and passes, and then you had 
had tickets and passes, you ain't moving. So, mm-hmm. just like everybody else that was asking for tickets and passes to get in, like, come on, man. Like, niggas so, ain't having just dry tickets and passes. Exactly. My mama would have been with me. Did, did, okay, my sister, so my girl would have been there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you know that he was trying to get in with y'all? So, we was walking by. We seen him. He was like, let me get in with y'all. Like, we know. Come on now. Like, it's common sense. He said it loud. Yeah, he's like, come on, man. Let me get in. Right, Kevin pushing. <laughs> like you playing around? Like, yeah, what's up? Like you said, what's up? You yeah, know, you I, I, I thought it was a joke. No, yeah, he said he asked. He I was know serious. he was dead ass for real. I thought he it was, was a joke because you at the BT Awards, you big empire, Mo three man. Like you supposed to be in here anyway. I'm outside. <laughs> no, but he's still, like, no, but he the type of dude. Even when he got in the Grammys, he say he snuck down to talk to Mike Tyson. He start seats was open, so he's yeah. sneaking down to the front. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, he he, he he did what he needed to do, I guess, on this situation. It's just so. So, I mean, how was the energy like when you guys walk in? What was the most phenomenal thing that you felt? Not be- I'm not talking about pre-stage. I'm yeah. talking about when you first get in there. What was the thing that you felt that you was like, this is so extraordinary? Rehearsal was cool. Soldier Boy, um, Kid and Play, mm-hmm. Franchise Boys, them, um. DJ Unk, couple of them. Pretty much everybody was Dougie in there. Dougie Fresh was there too. Dougie Fresh. Mm-hmm. Everybody that was on that part that you seen that it was right. all the dances going on, they was all there the on Unk rehearsal. Came, he came up right before DJ Unk came yeah, up right, right before, before us. Y'all. So that was that was dope. But what made me feel like, oh shit, shit's really going on, it's really now is when we already came to our seats, we watching it, and um our uh what do I say? Like, I guess our runner from BET was like, all right, it's time for y'all to go. It's time for us to hit the stage. So I'm walking down and I bust a right. And then you had Yo Gotti, Angela, Moneybag, uh, Glorilla, Ice Spice, Uzi, JT. I bust a left and I said, oh yeah, I'm about to perform right now. <laughs> Cause the stage was right here and they sitting right here. So I was like, oh yeah, it's about to go oh, down. I'm get to it. Oh yeah. So that's why I showed out. Y'all seen me hit the little dip out there and everything. I was cutting up. Yeah. While you when you was cutting up, you just basically you you I, I seen you, man. You hey man, you hit that hoe too. I had to. It, you went you went lower than everybody. Yeah, I said now's the hey, time. I'm watching you, my boy. So I said, I said that's my guy time. right there. I, I know you. Too. And, and I used to do it in the music video. So I said, let me it. bring you, it back. You I had to let them know. Jumped all the way down, man. Like to. held it that whole life. Had to. Man, this was extraordinary. For how many? How how was your adrenaline as you was? Hold on. How was your adrenaline? You got ready. When you, <laughs> yeah, it was, when you when you hit that stage, when you first hit that stage, how was your adrenaline? How was it pumping when you when you come out? Put through, cause y'all y'all really yeah. some niggas that know how to do this. Yeah. Y'all been there. Did it all seem like it just clicked back together like it Had never to. stopped? Yeah. Um. Shit. Before we went out there, I was on live telling all the followers and fans and the supporters, just hey, we about to go on. Y'all get ready. And shit, right before it happened, I'm sitting there in the back and I'm watching everybody run out there and they killing they spot. I'm like, oh yeah, it's time for us. As soon as that, doom, doom, it was on. I said, I know what time it is. And you went in that hole and Had went to. crazy. Had to. And it, the energy was high. Had the, to. It went hard. I like, wish we could have performed the whole thing. That's what I was mad I about. Wish. I wish. Oh, I was upset about Prince, that. I, I wish I could have heard it top of their lungs. Boy, you damn show. But right. it's going to happen again. I know the whole C4 is going to be back there ASAP. Right around the corner before y'all know it. I know it. I feel it. God told me. Bro, but, but let me just be real with you, man. You go, you go on stage. I know Master PM came yeah. on stage too after y'all, but yeah. like it was before. It was before. Yeah, y'all ended the show. We ended the show. Okay, when you see Master PM, they, they, I mean, they do their part. What are you thinking? I'm here with the greats. I'm here with the legends. I'm here with the goats. All of them. I'm like, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. I worked hard. I ain't give up. Man, I'm ready for this. So Let's you, go. You seen Gorilla perform too? All of them. Everybody I seen, I seen live. I even when you had the rest of the C4s come up here, ask them. I was calling them on Facetime, just showing it to them, giving them motivation. Yeah, yeah. While they watching the show live, I'm showing them Facetime live. Each one of them calling them one by one. Look, I just want to motivate y'all. Keep watching it. Mm. Hung up. Call the next one. Letting them know we gonna be here. That's hard, man. I swear. So you really, really, like, like when you think about, like, what you guys have accomplished in the time that you've accomplished it, um, and for them to be able to see you guys up there performing like that, that had to be a hell of an inspiration. I hope so. It was. It I had to so. be. I hope so. I hope they got that in right here. Really right here. In front of their eyes at all times, because that's how it is for me. 
I think about my journey around the clock and I'm over here creating that journey all over again. Like that road is right here and I'm creating that same road again with all in with me. How many TikToks did you do up there on Bounce When She Walking? Man, all I don't know. You were doing I it, sure I had enough though. I was doing it. For I thought shows. I seen somebody doing that dance and everything. So we was, I seen so, that. So the day of, uh, it's like, I'm going to put this out here. So the day we was doing rehearsal, the girls recognized me some of the dances. Mm -hmm. So we was going to hit it. But... Man, old old manager was tripping. He didn't want to see you shine. Nigga didn't want to see me shine. Now you got another we one. We don't got little we don't say no <laughs> names, but he was tripping. <laughs> he was like, man, don't don't don't, don't, don't make it about you or none of that right now. I was like, bro, if if my brothers feel some type of way, then I feel some type of way. You saying something, I don't want to hear it. Really? This is my moment right now. They know who I am. We gonna TikTok. We gonna run it. Mm -hmm. We was about to go down right there on God. But y'all did it. That was the day of the awards. We did. We was going to do it on a rehearsal day. Ah. So here was special now. Fast forward. Boom. We thinking it's over. I'm thinking BET Awards done. I'm about to walk out there and take pictures. Him again. Don't go out there. Oh, hey, listen. Let, let the security come stop me. I'm going out here. All right. Let's see. I said, let's see. Walked out there. I'm taking pictures. I'm videotaping. Yeah, we have to be same girls. Oh, you ready now? Let's do it. See how God work. Bounce when she walk. I'm pulling it up. Not knowing that the cameras are still on. Now I went in. Not knowing anything going on. I'm pulling it up. Hey, South, hold this right quick. Y'all ready? Bounce when she walk. Hey. Uh -huh. yeah. I get back in the car. Phone going crazy. Uh -huh. I seen it. Phone going crazy. Uh -huh. I'm like, we going viral. They said, what happened? I said, we going viral. It went from me being emotional, seeing unique video, shades on, tears dropping, seeing her scream at the top of her lungs, to me scrolling up and then seeing the BET war still showing at the end, credits going, and we doing the bounce when she walk. I said, this shit is amazing. Man, that's a blessing, <laughs> bro. You took and capitalized off the Listen, moment. Exactly. I'm telling you, if you ever had other members come up here, they'll tell you, we was about to fight and go down on rehearsal day, and then the day of the awards at the end, it was about to go down again. I said, let the security come stop me, nigga. I'm walking back out here and taking these pictures nigga this the moment we heard i'm videotaping i'm getting everything walk back out there and i'm like this wow and when you got done did they say anything to you nothing <laughs> nothing <laughs> but but you got to do what you yeah, supposed to had do too i like that you had push to. through had to you have to sometime go and no matter what don't let nothing stop facts you. Mm -hmm. and that's what i did true story you ever have them come that's a true story rehearsal's about to go down and the day of the awards is gonna go down at the end and i said i'm taking these pictures bro i'm running these pictures i'm running this video i'm not stopping let the bet security come stop me and they didn't even care nah they videotaping us <laughs> matter of fact they put it out facts <laughs> yeah they put yeah. it out facts uh -huh. That's hard, man. What but, did he say? Nothing after that. Nothing to say. Mm mm. It was nothing to say. What is there to say? Wow, man. You you really you worked your butt off to do what you done. I met you by yourself working. I I, I see you today doing your thing and built a team, man. I'm proud of you. I'm proud to be. I've done what God put this together. I always talk highly about God because without Him we wouldn't be nothing. And I just see you know from you being in here doing what you was doing when I first met you the video until now like you one of those guys man you you pretty much as you get into different situations you chameleon that whole situation I have you to marry yourself into it I think that's dope bro I appreciate that man that's hard I man what do you that. think you think I'm I'm on it I'm telling them the you're truth you're on it you are, I'm just excited to see what's, what's next? the next exactly I know me too exactly me too but okay but back to BT mm -hmm. the thing that I want you to know because since Tyler Perry took over mm -hmm. And I know you've been to BT a long time ago. Mm -hmm. What is the difference that you see now? And I, like I told him in a past interview, I'm like, Tyler Perry just took over. And yeah, in, in my mind, right. BT is scheduled year in advance probably and all of that. So all of this probably was scheduled way before he even actually took over. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if he had any input on this BET compared to what we might see next right. year. What do you think? I don't know. But what, what, what I could say this year, we didn't, we didn't have no hosts. They just let it flow. It was yeah. no main host, nobody. It just it was flowing. You gonna get your award and somebody gonna perform. You gonna get your award, somebody gonna perform. That was it. It wasn't no main person up there like how it was the last couple of years, the DC mm -hmm. Young Flies or mm -hmm. whoever it was. So that was it. Mm. 
Wow. I just I, when I when I look back and, and I think about, you know, what people dream was, their dream was to be on BET. Their mm -hmm. dream was to be on 106, uh, 106 and, Park. and Park or, 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 or in the base, or the basement, MTV, TRL, you know, yeah, all, all that. that. You know, now now you have a free range to get on these phones. You got Boss do, Talk. You got Boss Talk 101. You, you got big, You got big boys out yeah. here. You got, you, you got your phone. There's yeah. no excuses now. If and you want to be great, all you got to do is go Pick to work, man. Like, how, how do you think within the next say by the end of the year, what are the, what are the thing targeted key moments that you're looking for? Have you pre-planned anything? Do you do things by like, 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 you know, plan things for events far as when it look, do the seasons change, you know what mm -hmm, I mean? Mm -hmm. Are you looking at seasonal changes and things to do? Will we be getting a Christmas, uh, 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 some type of Christmas, a song or something, you know, because you hadn't done that yet. No, I haven't never done. Oh, that. I'm over here speaking prophetically. I see. It might happen. You know, <laughs> it might happen. Think now. about it. You talking about because it? Because there there's things that you can do to get ready and prepare. Right. To where you can knock it out the park. Right. Because those times, you know, uh, that the bounce when she walked, you know, Christmas, you know, edition, anything, because right. everybody be already know. Think about it. Yeah. They, they leveraging off of what they already seen you. For them to see that, all the people that already watch you gonna boom. They right. gonna come right back for sure, and they gonna support it. Yeah. People don't realize you gotta come. You got that's a sauce, man. People, a lot of times the, the songs have got shorter, yeah, but the movement is there. It never changed. There's multiple ways to uh, recreate something nowadays. That's right, for sure. That's right. So I, I like to see that, and I'm I'm really gonna be looking at what you guys are doing, man. So I when I look at your whole uh, deal, I seen you. Um, I also seen people come into the group. Some people are not with you guys any mm -hmm. longer, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but I see, you know, I see everybody, I see everything. Like, what are you doing to, to, to hold a team together, to figure out ways to, to get everybody, you know, in tune with what you're trying to do, the vision that you're pressing forward to, to accomplish? Showing them this shit real. This sh I, I, man, showing them this shit real. They should, they should believe it is really than real from, the accident to still getting up BET awards to having bounce when she walked to to Joker being signed with fifteen oh one to yeah. to all the accomplishments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we doing this shit and there's no numbers behind it. It ain't no nothing been accomplished. Like if we just TikToking and we ain't making no money off of this shit. Like this shit's for real. Niggas is making money around the clock. We putting other people's songs, making other people's songs hot. Like, we doing a lot. Having our own merch. We traveling, doing shows, all of them. So it's, it's really up to them to, outside of me showing you that, you got to have faith and you got to be a believer in this shit that it could happen. And it's up to you. I got to go back to the BET Awards, man, because that was some things at that BET Award that you wouldn't have never... You know, you wouldn't have never guessed it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I seen people that I probably hadn't seen in years, yeah. bro. Like, I seen Boosie was out. Did that surprise yeah. you? Would you see him there? It was, you know, he had been in the face. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was, man, it was, it was a vibe, bro. Like, we... Did you see him? He was to the right. You seen Sexy him? Sexy Red to the left. All them people I told you was in the front. Like, it... it, it Boosie was up in that whole dance and his yeah, song come yeah, on. Yeah, he was lit. nigga was trying it to was, figure it, it out. Was, it was lit. It was, I feel like it was an auditorium full of superstars. An arena full of superstars. Wow. Everybody, all the superstars is all in, all in there together. All of them. All of them. All of them. Man. And, 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 Where you are, I, I could have reached over and touched all of them. Buster Rhymes, yeah, all, all of them. All of well, them right there. Everybody you seen was that close. I could have walked over to him and snap a picture from him. That Buster Rhymes tribute was hard. Yeah, he was right there. When he was backstage, he was just literally right there. Every time did you, he did seen you him, speak to him or you didn't say nothing? Nah, to him? I didn't. It was a lot of you movement going on. Yeah, a lot there. of people in there. You know, I get it. You know what I mean? Because you can't really, you don't know what they thinking or who, you know, who they, what they, you know. Yeah. I seen one girl or somebody touched him one time. He went off. You know, I don't know how, you know, something happened, but I'm just saying you got to be very careful. I've been in them rooms. Right. And, and that time there, if a person approach you, cool. But really, it's about you. In my heart, when I'm in a situation like mm -hmm. that, it's way more about me than anything that's going. I ain't going to lie to you. For sure. You, For sure. You got to because that's how you enjoy the moment. For mm -hmm. sure. So I come into a room feeling like it's me. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. You know but it depends who's coming up to you, though. 
That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If somebody approaches yeah. me, I'm going to show them yeah, their love. Sure. But sure. I can't miss out on this feeling in this moment. Yeah, because it's your I'm feeling. I'm not saying that right. everybody in there ain't who they is, right. but I'm who I am. Right, for sure. That's how you got to sure. do it. Facts. I did it. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm with you. I done did it too. <laughs> I know you have. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm with you. So I got to ask you. So I see you back driving. Mm -hmm. um, when you're driving down the street. I hate it. Man, by 18 But I got to. Bro, by What's crazy on the way here? Bro. On the way here. I could have been here way earlier. It was traffic right here by 45. It was an 18-wheeler. And it was the fucking, like, the sh shingles straight into that. It was from the ground straight into the windshield like this. This part was on the ground from the hood straight into the windshield. And I said, that's some crazy-ass shit going on. Uh -uh. And I passed it right on the way here. Bro. When I do come, you, how do you feel though? That, that shit, it, it fucks me up sometimes. Even when I'm driving down, I see bags on the road Doesn't flying make you around. Like it, I, be, I don't, I don't know if I want to swerve or not, but I be hesitant every time but, I see anything. It could be something, a bird flying by. I be ready to swerve. Because mm. of you, I don't even ride. When I see eighteen wheelers, I move out the way now. I try my best to get away. From I'm out the way. You made me look at things a lot different when I'm driving. Me too. I already was leery of them, mm -hmm. but now I really, I be all. Every because time, we never heard of a. Break right shoe falling all either. of them. Them trucks be trucks. old, man. Me either. They're supposed to be maintenance, but a lot of them don't. Me either. I used uh, to not give a damn. I used to speed behind them, side of them, never cared about now. 18 well, y'all, y'all might see me exit now. Wow. Um, that's that. But you can't avoid them. They, they're can't. all over the highway unless you're just not going to take the highway. Yeah, you got to. How, what are you guys doing? Um, like, like I'm going to go back into the music. Like, mm -hmm. what are you guys doing? Uh, with this bounce when she walked it, when I had Rain on here I always think about Rain because I just had him on here mm -hmm. he said the TikTok songs they, about they don't last long two months then you he got said, Coyle like, Ray mm -hmm. you got Megan Thee Stallion that did Savage that's TikTok records you got I could name a lot of TikTok records um, the um Rodeo with Lafayette. He's talking about it only lasts about six months. Yeah, and then you post this up to else. you to make another hit. Times is faster now. We ain't sitting on the record for a whole year. It's like you got a cool three, four months, and what's next? You got to mm -hmm. figure it out. Now, you, if you're smart enough, you could do a Jersey version. It gives you another life. You could do a sped up version to your song, or a slow down version. So you making money off your regular version, then your Jersey. Man, I ain't gonna say too much. But <laughs> then, no, but then, <laughs> but then, I ain't gonna say but too then, much. when you think about a TikTok song compared right. to um, someone who just made a hit that's not on TikTok, right. you hear them say, "No, I'm gonna tour with this. I'm gonna do this with that." But until, that's different until artists. It, it, that's different. Different it, artists got their own little lanes. There's some artists. So that that lasts longer than a TikTok song. It depends who we talking to and what song we talking about. For mm. sure. It depends who we talking to and what song we talking about and then what's bad, what type of bag is being made behind these songs. Okay. You feel me? Because like, nowadays, for instance, like Bounce When She Walk is like, not just TikTok. You getting paid off of shorts on YouTube. You getting paid off of YouTube. You getting paid off, and then the list goes on. Outside of that, you got your shows. So even when, let's say, shows slow down and they sit here and say, all right, we ain't fucking with that right now, you still got your streaming and everything else pulled in depending on how you got your paperwork. That's hard. I think that I think that's the whole game of learning. Why paperwork you go. is very important. Now, You've been guys. learning while you go. You it's lot always been, but people never read us. No, nah, they don't. They just be worried about that upfront money, and then you mm -hmm. know they blow that. Then they like, what's next? And, they, and and the thing is, you can't you you can't you don't have time to. Be setting up trying to teach everybody either. You two you dudes are trying to figure out how to implement the plan. I say this about Birdman and all those guys. A lot of time they get flack, but to be in those situations and those roles, think about it mm -hmm. from your point of view now. Mm -hmm. Having to try to figure it out mm -hmm. for everybody that's on your team, yeah. and then trying to keep them in 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 the in the just in that path to make sure y'all get where you're going. Mm -hmm. That's that's crazy because to be a person who had never had to do it, and then now you have to do it, it brings on a whole new meaning to understand it as you go, and then like, I ain't getting my money on this right here. But you should be learning as well as a student of the game. You in the game, but are you learning anything? A lot of people ain't trying to learn. They want to use you to learn for them, and then when you don't do what they say, they, they come back and talk about you. I think that's weird. And if it never changed. What, what, so how do you look at Dallas, man? Big extra plug. 
uh, uh, Earl Spence, uh, you know, came out. Uh, things got a little rough for mm -hmm. him here this last fight. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to ask you this quick because I really don't want to keep, because people in Dallas in my comments said stop talking about <laughs> it. Uh, but it's something that's worldwide news. Crawford yeah. is the, uh, 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 what they call it, undisputed mm -hmm. champion, like mm -hmm. champion of the world. What, um, how do you see this thing? Uh, do you think on the, uh, he gonna go up to 154? I know you know, you watch box a little bit. What do you think happens at 154? That just happened, uh, they just did 147. What do you we, see? I think, it, as, as, as a fan, supporter, and everybody else, I think we all waiting to see what's next. We all waiting to see what's next. When you get back in the ring, it's gonna be a W, or it's gonna be an L. Of course, we all want the W, mm -hmm. but we seen you have an L, so you know, some people might be like. That's why you're hearing the, the little talks you're hearing now. But everybody just waiting to see what you're going to do when you get back in that ring. Do you think he should fight somebody else outside of Crawford? I think he should go right back in. You think he should he go? Said, he, really? said it, he said it on the mic. We need I to heard do him it. Say He said it. we need to do this again. That's what we're going to stick to. Think about it. So you don't think he should try to fight with somebody stick, else? We got to stick with what you said. We, we, yeah, we, we, got riding, with, we riding with you. We riding with you. You said you want to go. You want it again. Let's go get it again. We all going to be court side again. I, Stay side. I'm hearing that Crawford going to do a Keith Thurman fight before he do the fight back with him. We we all waiting on it. That's it. We need listen. What we waiting on? We all waiting to see. Wow. You know that's that's with everything. Somebody go through something. What's next? Mm -hmm. That's why they gonna scope your page. They gonna comment. We doing yeah. the interviews. Yeah. yeah. They gonna run it up. Yeah. And we gonna wait and see. So I hope I hope like hell you know he can get in there and do better than what he did because he just didn't look like the same Earl to me. He didn't. It looked. I mean, I don't think I don't even think uh, Crawford broke a sweat. But the last fight that Earl did, my question was um, after he won because he won the last fight before right. this one. Yeah. When he came back to Dallas, was there a big celebration? Do you was, remember? Wasn't Wasn't it here? He always do them here. No, I'm saying wasn't the. I don't know. Wasn't at the was. Cowboy Stadium? I don't know. I think it was. It was right here in the city, I think. If it wasn't this one, it was the one before. But I know, I remember him having one. Oh, he had one here for sure. Right. But was there a big celebration? It had to won? be. It had to be. It's always a celebration. It's always a celebration. Yeah, yeah. They, they be happy they won, but. Watch parties, all that. They be doing their thing. No, parties. I just be wondering because that, the reason why I was saying that because I know that the other day when um, I saw uh, footage showing Crawford going back home, and mm -hmm. when I mean a street parade, mm -hmm. I mean. Thousands of people was out there cheering for him, all of that sort of stuff. So I'm just trying to see: does Dallas do that for their own when they? I think we just gotta. We got. That's the thing we're here. We gotta show it more. I think we gotta they talk would. about it more. No, and we no, gotta no. show it more. I'm I saying I it, think it, it would have happened because that fight and the level that that fight was right. on was going. It brought that kind of energy. If he'd have done it, we'd have got him the same thing. But Omaha's yeah. small. But we Compared still would did it. We for sure, but that's what I'm saying. We gotta. I was just wondering. I didn't. He been doing we gotta, promo. We gotta, we gotta do that. We gotta shows. do that more though. In in the city, regardless, not just even boxing, just we in all spirit. big, all big accomplishments. We need to go ahead and celebrate. I feel like that's what's missing here. That's what. That's what I was telling some people the other day. I said, when it comes to these labels and different things, people don't have the big. QCs and the cash monies in the city to say, oh, we want to be like them. You got to think about outside of here saying we want to be like them. So when you have the big boxing celebrations or whatever, you thinking of everybody else celebrations instead of right. sitting there saying, man, we, we need to do that like Earl Spence did down da Dallas through the whole. We, exactly. We need to show that more. They need to see that more. They don't show that shit enough. Wow. So I think the we about, we about to, it's about to be over. Um, so, what can we expect as far as the next song that you don't, you got to give us something. Yeah. What's the next one that you feel I, like? I ain't going to lie, like, we're, we're music working right now, anything can pop. But just stay tuned. Y'all got a bunch of them. Yeah, we do. So, stay tuned. My goal right now is just to blow, blow, blow up what we got going on even more. Yeah. Like, y'all see the girls blow up even more, see me blow up even more, and we turn this into the to the next bad boy, the next QC, the next so-so death, the next cash money, young money. That's the main plan. And hopefully get some TV shit going on around here. You know what I'm saying? Gutter K's back in the motion with us. You got Unique, you got KP, you got Destiny, you got GG, KC, you got, you we working. So, um, if you wasn't able, you know, because of what you just went through. Yeah. If something happened, you weren't able to speak for yourself. Right. And somebody was creating a documentary about you. Yeah. What would you want them to say? 
He never gave up. I lived behind 50 Cent when he said, get rich or die trying. I, I, I believe them words every day. I live by that little motto right there. For real, get rich or die trying. So when I'm gone, my son taking care of, he don't got the worries like everybody else got. For sure. Mm. Yeah, yeah. My niece don't got no worries. Yeah, yeah. Me and you talked a little bit about it. Gutter TV was on here. I heard that you and him linked up to, yeah, to shout do. out Gutter. So y'all basically, uh, I don't know what kind of link y'all did, but I know y'all did some dealings together. Yeah, for right? sure. Yeah. So, but y'all, y'all, do y'all still work together currently? Yeah, we chop it up. We supposed to get some in motion the other day. I need to hit them up when we get off of here. Matter of fact. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and I mean I ask that because I deal with both of y'all, so I always be asking what's going on because I know already it's love. Yeah. And, and you got to create a, not a pyramid scheme, you know, but you got to create a pyramid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need each other. I need you. You need me. For sure. Um, uh, Gutter K need us. Yeah. Um, um Mr. Maker definitely need me. Yeah. Everybody and, and vice versa. Oh well, maybe. For but sure. at any rate, you know, I'm I'm that guy. No, I'm just <laughs> but I'm just saying, everybody needs each other, man. And I think that's the whole game. Like we in the South, bro. You from New York, mm-hmm. but you've been gone a long time. Long time. What time did you? You was how? Old? Like eight nine. See, you don't. But I'm you, back and forth though. Hell. You don't be in New York like that. Not not as much no more. Cause you used we, to be. We making real motion out what, there right what now. What was the? What, where was you from? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You and from then Brooklyn? my family from South, uh, South America, Guyana. Yeah, y'all. Mm-hmm. Had, that's why y'all vibe because yeah. you know it's so weird. Guy young and making vibe going on. You know y'all don't saying? understand. <laughs> yeah, hey, your I wanna, mama I wanna, guy young. Yeah, from she's Guyanese. For real? Yeah. That's why she likes she. She ain't playing by nah, you. Nah, at all. No, no, I love yeah. it, man. I, man, we love you, bro. We love you. Keep doing your thing, man. Sure, I, I love the y'all. chain, that C4S chain. Yeah, it's man. blinging me, man. It hit me in the eyes, man. All them diamonds, diamonds. I can't see nothing, man, without yeah. my glasses. I'm man. ready for the uh, boss talk chain. Man, I'm looking you know, forward I'm to it. It's coming soon. Chain. We just gonna leave it at that. It's on no, the way. Because you just asked me where I got mine from, so I know it's on the way. The Jamaica chain on the way. Do we really need that? We old. We don't. We don't be outside. Y'all don't really need a Cadillac. Y'all could be in a little kid. Yeah, but we. You don't need a car. That's business. That's just a business. It's it's, it's the look. It's the the business and look. Nah. It's a business and look, bro. If if if, if, you got a chain on right now, don't you? But that's Texas, man. I'm gonna put me a big Texas oh, necklace my, on. There's nothing wrong with it. Just like I <laughs> see Boss some people, it. I see some people. You can, you can see the people that don't oh, always do wear that. all these hard, things. Though. Now this subsidizes to just one spot. We can't be. We for the world, man. But that's the Texas chain with the Boss Talk logo. You see what in I'm it? saying? What's wrong with it, man? That's why chain crazy. You had them chains when y'all were doing the stinky leg. What? That why your first money went messing nah, with them chains. I still got that money. It's still rolling in. <laughs> If I want to sell a house, I have it back right now. That's hard, man. No, but that, but that's that's good investing. You have to, man. I have think to. that's that's dope, man. That's live, man. Check it, man. Thank you so much, man, for, sure. for coming on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. What a sure. bosses talk. talk. Hey, shout out, unique. And, and what's the whole your handle? Team. Give us the handle. Everybody, shout out all y'all. Love y'all. The C Four S supporters. Everybody, and you know, at Old Boy Prince, man, and at Click Full of Stars underscore. If y'all need y'all song to go viral, y'all need anything popping, hit me up. Outside of that, just keep following the team, following the family. We love y'all. Boss Talk One Hundred and One, baby. Big we out.